get a question a lot right now from agents, from owners, should I accept a contingency offer on my house or my listing that I'm trying to sell? And the answer is it really depends. Um, it depends on where you're selling your property. Are you in a segment in your local market that is selling well, or is it a little tough? Example, in Myrtle Beach right now, if you're selling a home in that kind of 275 to even as high as 500, 450 to 500, you're experiencing tremendous competition from the national builders. They are doing a lot of incentives and buy down rates and closing costs that makes it more difficult for say a $400,000 home done 12 years ago. So in that scenario, the answer might be yes, you might consider a contingency. Some questions to think about when you think about the contingency is, is the home that they have to sell, my buyer has to sell, is it under contract? If it is, is it past due diligence or inspections? Then that's probably a yes. Is it even on the market? I had an offer yesterday on a house of mine uh, and I immediately asked the agent about the, the property in Connecticut. It's not even on the market yet. So then I asked, let me have the listing agent's name and number that's about to list it. I need to find out what's the market like where the contingency home is being marketed and sold. If In some pockets of the Northeast, it's still a very, very hot market. So all of these factors are important but we've got to dig deep right now and not just accept any contingency offer. We've got to look and see what are the circumstances of your home? Are you in a good market? In Myrtle Beach right now, above 500 in that six, seven and eight for some custom homes, the market's still pretty strong. Yes, interest rates make it tough, but we're not competing as much with the nationals. So if you've got a specific question about real estate or about a contingency offer, don't hesitate to message me, let me know. I'd be glad to help. Talk to you soon.